Hi guys, welcome back to another Cornwall Vlogs video. Today we're going to be discussing about the situation about Ollie McBurney and the new signings or transfer rumours about Florian Canberry, Nathan Adua and Casey Palmer. So if you enjoyed the video please leave a like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification and come here at 25 likes on the video. And we're doing well at the moment, 475 subscribers, hopefully we can get 500 before the new season. And yeah, let's go over the video. So let's talk about Florian Canberry first. Apparently we're going to try and sign him for 2 million, Trevor Boots said. He's a Switzerland striker, Halbarian, Hal I think the Scottish team. They said he's worth around 2 million, but also Portsmouth. Other teams linked with him, Brentford and Middlesbrough. I don't know if we're on top of signing him, but hopefully we can. He, if he does leave, he'll be a replacement for Ollie McBurney if he doesn't go to Sheffield United. And for a season at uh, Hibernian, he scored 12 goals and had 36 appearance, appearance, I think. So yeah, he's not that bad as a striker. Uh, if we do sign him, he'll either be on a loan deal, I think, or we might sign him for two million, but Trevor Burt did say he's not spending any money in this transfer window because he has too many high wages as the Ayu brothers, Bolger Bastan, and yeah. So, that's all I've got to say about flooring Cabrera. So now let's talk about Nathan Adua. He was at Tottenham Academy and Rangers, and he's reportedly apparently going to have a trial at Son City. He, he has some loan spells at Luton, Rangers, Colchester and Petersburg. He had 19 appearances under Mark Warburton and only scored once. So it's, he's not very consistent of scoring. He was born in London and he began his career at Tottenham. Uh, I think he's under 23 so he will be decent at Swansea since we are like our team is so young and progressing but yeah he doesn't seem like a bad player I would take him but he's apparently having no trial at Swansea so we'll have to see where that goes and hopefully the transfer goes through so let me know your thoughts on the comments in the comments down below and yeah so now let's talk about Casey Palmer he was capped at England on under 17, under 18, under 20 and under 21 he was with Steve Cooper at the time so that's more likely that Swansea will sign Casey Palmer, uh, yeah, and he was also at Blackburn last season, I think it was, and he had some game time at Chelsea, so he hasn't done that bad in his career. He'd be a good midfielder. Frank Lampard said he's a good attacking midfielder and the head of Ireland on their pre-season, so yeah, he's at pre-season at the moment. He got a number of games under his belt at Chelsea, and he had two loan spells at Huddersfield and Derby County. So he would be a decent sign-in. And last season he played for Bristol City. Uh, so yeah, he's not been that bad. And he also played for Blackburn, what moved him on to Bristol City, that's what I tried to say. And yeah, he doesn't look like a bad midfielder. But as I said, he wouldn't get into the team over Matt Grimes. Maybe George Byers, because he's a bit young, but I still think George Byers is better. And we've also got Selena and Tom Carroll as well, so... Yeah, it'd be hard for him to get into the squad. So now let's talk about Ollie McBurney to his move to Sheffield United. We have rejected a fifty million bid for him. I say he's worth a bit more. He did score twenty four goals last season for Swansea and had a couple of assists. He's a great striker. Talks so he wins headers and all sorts. He he's good with his feet if he can score. Uh Chris Wilder says he's his number one target to get. I don't think we should sell McBurney. But if they do put like a 20 million bid in, I think he'll go. But yeah, uh, United have already played a club record for Carla Robson from Preston to go to Bramall Lane this summer. And yeah, if Ollie McBurney does go, we will need a striker quick. Because I don't think Courtney Baker is good enough to play there. Yeah, so if he does go, it'd be upsetting to see. But yeah, and tomorrow we've got Yeovil Town, so hopefully we can get another win there for three out of three in pre-season and yeah so if you do enjoy the video please leave a like subscribe turn the bell notification as i said the start coming at 25 likes and on the video and let me know your thoughts down below on the players i've discussed and yeah see if we sign any of them before this before the season starts 
and I'll see you in the next one. Call this one.